Hello BSD community. It's been several weeks since I provided a COVID update. I wanted to uh, uh, do an update today because numbers are really moving in a positive direction. Just to give you some context, uh, the week of January 15th, we, we were averaging 35 new positive cases, uh, student and staff cases reported to us every single day. Last Tuesday, as of Tuesday afternoon, we had had 97 cases reported to us. Uh, so far this week, we've had 35 new cases reported to us. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. Attendance for students has improved. We have fewer students out sick um, or quarantining. Uh, same for faculty and staff. Um, another measure that we've looked at is how many kids are getting sent home by school nurses with symptoms, potential COVID symptoms. So from September to January, we, we averaged about 85 kids per day across the entire district that were being sent home. And in the first eight days of February, we've averaged 50. So we've gone from 85 to 50 kids a day uh, out of our 13,000 students. Uh, so a number of things are changing in the right direction. And these reduced numbers, both locally here and, and, and in the region, have our health experts and our medical experts um, rethinking the, the uh, need for mandatory masking. And really, I think there's a growing consensus that we are near the point where we can move away from mandatory masking. Um, and so uh, we'll continue to meet with the City Health Bureau uh, and with our St. Luke's experts to develop what's our next step uh, to move away from mandatory masking. I think the things that play into that is the end of the Omicron um, wave that we've seen, that we're seeing tail off. Uh, more and more people are getting vaccinated and boosted, so we have vaccination rates that are higher. And let's face it, so many people had uh, the Omicron variant that um, there's some natural immunity out there as well. The severity of the cases are down. Hospitalizations have dropped off significantly in the last week or so. So we're in a safer place to move away from masking. And so I'll be presenting to the board uh, next Monday, February 14th, at our committee meeting, um, our steps um, and, and a timeline uh, to move away from mandatory masking. We gotta get to the right place. Uh, we're not there yet, but we're getting close. Um, and then ask the board to endorse what's next for us as far as our COVID mitigation strategies Ask the board to endorse that on February 28th. Um, so hopefully in March, we'll be able to put in place new strategies. So things are getting better as we move uh, through the winter. And I'm hopeful that with the consensus of the medical community, that mandatory masking uh, is fading away as a necessary mitigation strategy, we'll be able to follow that guidance as we have all the way through this pandemic. And we'll be able to uh, take steps towards optional masking and away from mandatory masking. So remember, this is still not an individual health crisis. It's a community health crisis. I am incredibly proud of how our community has hung together uh, through this and supported each other. And I'm hoping that we're going to uh, be able to see um, some of the positive fruits of our labor getting uh, through all of our mitigation steps over the next few weeks as we can uh, move away from mandatory masking. Thank you.